everybody. I feel like I haven't gone live on here in forever. I think I just did on Saturday during my workout. But anyways, um, gosh, it's already Tuesday. School starts next week. So we have been busy, 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 busy in this house, um, getting everything situated for the kids to get back to school. Um, getting all their supplies, school shopping. Kayla's actually at the mall just finishing up some school shopping with her girlfriends. Um, but I was thinking, because I did this today, so the thought's been on my mind, but I was thinking about if we're utilizing every moment we have. Hi guys, I see you hopping on. Hi Angela. If we're really taking advantage of every moment we have. And this is what made me think of this, because like today, um, Kayla's out of the house, Alex is at work, it's just Ryan and myself. And normally I would be on the computer, working away, talking to my challengers and helping my new clients and all that kinds of stuff. Um, and he'll be playing video games. So I'm like this and he's like this. But today I wanted to do something different. It's very rare that I get a long time with Ryan. I get a long time with Kayla a lot because, you know, we'll go get our nails done together, we'll go get our hair done together, things like that. We'll have a girl day. Um, I get my time with Alex in the evenings and when the kids are with their dad. So it's very rare that I get time with Ryan. So today I wanted to take advantage. So I busted my butt this morning before he got his lazy butt out of bed. Hi, David. And I got all my work done that I needed to get done. You know, all the beginning stuff. I still have some messages I need to go back and respond to, but I, you know, answered all the 50 messages I woke up to this morning. Hey, Karen. Um, and I got all my things done. And then I told him, I was like, let's go, let's leave the house. I know he wanted to go to GameStop um, and things like that. And then we grabbed some lunch. We decided to come back. Hi, Tanya. We decided to come back. Hi, Sarah. And we're gonna watch a movie. Um, and I think it's really, really cool. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little teary-eyed because I think it's really cool that I can do this. Um, it has always been a dream of mine to be able to be my own boss, be home with my kids, but still have an income coming in. And the fact that I can do that, and that's my job. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jermaine. I just think that's the coolest thing, that it is one o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy a delicious salad. We went to Sublicious for the people that aren't locals. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Susan. Hi, Meredith. Hey, guys. So for the people that aren't local, the Sublicious place is, has the best subs, but they also make really good salads. So he got his chicken tender sub, I got my salad with tuna, so I'll have my protein. See all my containers, this is all the food I've already had today and it's only one o'clock, that's crazy, right? Um, so, we're gonna sit down. We got the fire, t the fire TV going, the Amazon Fire TV going. We're gonna watch a movie, we're gonna have our lunch. I am going to answer messages after and I'm gonna take advantage of this time. Normally I wouldn't, hi Tracy. Normally I'd be like, yeah, I can watch a movie, but I'm gonna answer messages while I watch the movie, okay? And I wanted to be home with my kids to be present with my kids. I'm not present if my face is in a computer. So I am going to take advantage of that time today and take advantage of the moments that I have. And it made me think about everyone else. Hey Jesse, do you guys do that too? Are you making sure that you take advantage of that time or the moments that you have? Even if it's little pockets of moments, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Do you know it's not about the amount of time? It's about the quality of what you do in that time that's important. Maybe you only have 10, 20 minutes to spend with somebody that means a lot to you. But if you make that such a connect where these are gone, where you're not doing anything but focusing on being with that person. Hi, Nicole. Do you know what quality you can get out of that 10, 20 minutes? It's amazing. And I was talking to Alex about this the other night and I told him I need to, I need to practice this more. I need to disconnect a little bit more throughout the day, little pockets of the day, and spend quality time when I have it. Like when the kids aren't here, I need to disconnect and spend that quality time with my spouse and build that relationship. Because all relationships, friendships, mother-son relationship, mother-daughter relationships, spousal relationships, significant others, mother, you know, it 
All relationships take work and everybody has to do their part. And I feel that if everybody took some time to notice the moments that you have, like right now, taking advantage of this moment and talking to you guys because he's doing, he's trying to find a movie and he's getting his lunch situated and he's doing a couple things, downloading his games and stuff and then we're going to sit down. So I'm taking that moment to talk to you guys. But we need to really open our eyes to the moments that we have and totally take advantage of those moments. Um, it, notice when they're there. Like really be aware of what you have and notice it, you know. Even if it's five minutes, you guys, there's so much you can get done in five minutes. There's such a connect that you can have with somebody just in five minutes. So I just, I just want to make sure you guys are staying aware of that. Don't let life take over. Don't let other things overflow your relationships, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your kids. Those relationships are so important. Don't let other things in life be on top of that. Don't make other things more of a priority than those things. Because they're not. Because in the end, the ones that are going to be there is going to be your significant other or your spouse or your kids or your parents or your very close friends that are family. Those are the people that when you really need it and the shit has hit the fan, they're the ones that are going to be there. So you need to make sure that you're showing them appreciation, you're showing them love, and you're taking advantage of those moments. Like I said, guys, you don't have to put a whole day aside to show someone you care. You can do it in little pockets of the day when you have that little extra time, when that time has showed itself to you and said, you know what I mean? Like, God puts things in places that they need to be. Like Kayla was so worried about being with her friends today. I was like, it's okay, go have a good time. Go enjoy yourself. And then I get the time with Ryan. You know, it's just, I love that I get to do this and I love that I get to be home with my kids and I love that, I mean, I honestly didn't think this would ever be my path and that it is, I will never be on a different path. This is the path I'm riding. It's ride or die. Um, but so I just wanted to chat with you guys about that really quick. I just wanted to, hey guys, I see you still hauling on. How are you? I just, it's something that I was just feeling deep, deep in my heart. And I just, I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Like I do with everything, as you know. But it's just something that I just wanted to remind you. Don't forget to look for those moments and totally take advantage of those moments. Don't take them for granted and think, I'll have another, I'll have another moment tomorrow. Or I'll have a chance tomorrow because tomorrow is something that's never promised. Time is not something that's ever promised to us. And that's the one thing that we're unsure about. So when the moments come, you need to go all into that moment. Like I said, even if it's five minutes. So go out there today for the rest of the day. Look for those moments. And when you find them, dive right into them and be 100% in that moment, face to face, eye to eye. If that moment is watching a movie, hold hands. Let that person know that you're there and that you love them and that you are enjoying your time with them. You don't have to be, you know, total, you know, makeout sessions with your significant other so they know that you love them. You could hold their hand. You could snuggle. You could put your head on their shoulder. Anything. But just make sure you're enjoying the time and you're taking advantage of the time you get with them. So go have a good day. I'm going to totally take advantage of this time with Ryan right now before Kayla comes home with her girlfriends. And um, even then, we'll be able to finish the movie because they'll be hanging out in the room, I'm sure. So have a great, great, wonderful, and terrific Tuesday, guys. And go take those moments. Bye.